Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Play Return to Krondor. We just visited the Wreckers Guild where Jorath, a very um, not, not at all um, evil sounding fellow, explained to us that Kandarak had murdered the Guildmaster and they could therefore not help us raise the ship with the Shiapians, uh whatever it is that they lost. Um, so, see if we can tell the prince about it. Oh, well, all right. So here's the throne room. Let's go, James. Get in the throne. Come on, get in the throne. You won't get in the throne. Dance. All right. So here's the boss. You are back sooner than I expected. What has happened? The Guildmaster of the Wreckers Guild has been murdered. Beyond the obvious problems, how does this affect us? There are but two men who are able to raise the ship. One is dead, and the other is missing. Is there no one else who can help us? Not in Krondor. But it's not as hopeless as Jazhara makes it sound. The missing man has been accused of the Guildmaster's murder. So our task now is to find him. What are your feelings on this, James? My bump of trouble suggests that there's something else going on here. I agree with James. His sentiment is one taught to me long ago by my father. The skin of the fruit does not indicate its sweetness. We've no time to summon a wrecker all the way from Rillanon, so you must find this presumed murderer and bend him to our cause. Remember, time is of the essence. Yeah, let's work with presumed murderers. You don't have to make it, and Jessara, you know, you don't have to make everything sound so hopeless. Let, let's discuss this some more. Remember, time is of the essence. Yeah, he's not kidding. Time is of the essence. Alright, so, um, I went to the shop and sold a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, Jessara still got all the al alchemical business going on, but, you know, stuff that we didn't need. Uh, Gerard's note, don't need it. Ship raising ritual, uh, I'm probably gonna have to hang on to that the whole game, I don't know. Let's check a room. Alright, this room seems to be in compliance with the law. So, uh, so, we can return to the Seagate sector the night after dark, or, uh, I don't know, let's, let's go to the Yeebit and Dog, there's usually something happening there. Or the Bitten Dog, I mean. Check some rooms. I knew some guys were up to no good. Alright, let's see. Just, uh, conservative? Or aggressive? These guys don't look so tough. Didn't look tough at all. Works for me. Jazara will do her standard thing with his, with his staff. I said in the last episode that in Betrayal at Condor Thunderstaff, it's, it's actually a, it's a lightning staff. And it has 40 charges. But the one in this game just has unlimited charges, so I think it kind of kind of breaks the game because it's really uh, it's unlimited. Yeah, that's right. Your armor is damaged. I mean, it's just less interesting to have Jasara cast the same spell all the time and never sort of... But at the same time, let's say you need a better spell than the Lightning Strike. If you get into that situation, well, then Jasara's got to drop the staff, and it's not... It's, it's a little bit of a dilemma, so, you know... It's a good weapon, and I'm glad I have it, but it's it's not always the greatest thing to use. Sometimes you're better off 
looking for a spell. Uh, I don't know, do I have any spellcasting points? No. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Because Jazara doesn't have spellcasting points, and... Well, I don't feel like wasting a potion. Silly, but... I just... Don't like using potions unnecessarily. Oh my gosh, there's more guys in this room, and they've got swords in there after us. Same thing as last time, pretty much. We've gotta go through all the spiders. Well, I don't have to, but I want to. I mean, the game is a lot longer when you go through these rooms. Yeah, that's, wow, 64. That guy did not do well. 64 damage on that. This guy's not doing well. Sailor, yeah. Don't fall off the screen. Just don't. That hasn't happened yet, I don't think, because I've been pretty careful about it, but you can see when they fall back right around here, they're I mean if if they are if their feet don't stick out, you you can't loot them. They just they'll just fall off the screen, so don't let that happen. I mean, if it does, you can't do anything about it. But it's not no great loss. But if, you, if you're if you a pack rat, like I am, at least, you know, in the game, then it's really annoying to lose the goodies. Wow, there's a lot of terrible little weapons here. I'm gonna keep going here. I don't want to stop at the shop. And when I reach... Ooh, it's a pack. This one looks familiar to me. I think we might have seen this assortment before. Three diamonds. It's actually a lot of money. I swear, if there's one game you don't have to worry about money in, it's this one. Alright, that's everything in that pack. I'm gonna run into the bitten dog here. See if they know anything about Kendarik. Lucky Pate. The stole oh, this is with Gerard. Pete, have you heard that Gerard's shop has been robbed? It's old news, boy. Heard anything on the streets about who's responsible? Even if I knew, you wouldn't have enough gold. Um, I'm gonna break here for a second. This is just looking really weird to me for some reason. Maybe these, uh... Di hey, didn't I kill these guys? Maybe they're relatives. Maybe these guys know something about... <laughs> what are we here? <laughs> Looks like a cool bootleg in his cashy and pet. <laughs> You two ought to know better than to come to a place like this, looking like that. Our appearance is none of your concern, especially considering the finery you're wearing. Well, that's enough, Chazara. We've no quarrel with these gentlemen. All we seek is knowledge of the troubles at the Wreckers Guild. And why should we even waste our time with you? Each cargo that stays at the bottom of the sea is one less cargo for you to unload. Ah, true enough. I heard the Guildmaster's death. Now, I don't know nothing about it, but I uh, know who could tell you more. Of course, it'll cost you. Oh, is that right? He'll probably just direct me to Lucky Pate or something like that. Zara has always, always got one of these little analogies ready. Not analogies, but she's always got something to say to these guys. Fine, I won't pay him. It'll cost you more if you refuse us. I've had about enough of your lip, boy. Alright. There's that. These guys, 
have nothing to say. Oh, well, that's it. No discussion. I was thinking, you know, talk to them, find out what I can. Oh, come on, don't do that to me. This door. That door's locked for a purpose, you nosy sods! You keep the hell away from it! Who are you talking to, Pete? Right. Well, that didn't help. I mean, really, I would have thought... I, I would have thought that I'd come away with more information than that. And to be fair, I said no, I won't pay him. He probably would have only asked for a few gold. I mean, the game isn't going to tell you how much gold you're paying, but it does say... 25 gold or something like that. Whoa, this warehouse is filled with villains. We've gotta get rid of them. That's what we do. Get to work, James. Uh -huh. Yeah, you haven't got a chance, but you have I should probably wrap this up pretty quick. <laughs> nice one, Jazara. Jazara's really uh, dramatically improved in, in her uh, utility in battle. When we got her, she was just a, about as much of a liability as a as a. Uh, an asset. But now, she can really keep guys busy. As well as she's carrying that stick. This overpowered stick here. Come on, use the stick. <laughs> that's a lot of ex that's, you know, 675 experience or something like that per for, for all of these guys together, which is a lot of experience no matter how you slice it. So, you know, good news, good news. Grab all of this junk. Oh, one more. It's a flawed diamond, oh, probably a luck ring, some kind of potion. More junk. And I don't see anything else here in this room, and I'm pretty much full anyway, so what I'm going to do is... Oh gosh, I don't really have time to do much else, so I'm going to run over to... Oh, I'm already in this sector. I'm going to run over to the store and sell a bunch of stuff. I'll leave it in. I'll, I'll leave some of it in anyway. In the video. Because... Well, I've been cutting it out, and I have a little time, and why not? Uh, hello. This guy who likes to talk to hello us. Hello again. Uh, what may I get for you? Speedy service. Faster service, please. This guy's always got something to say. So, as you can see, we have 159,000 gold, and, well... Um, I hate to break it to uh, you, but there's nothing in the game that you need 160,000 gold for. I just, I don't know. Compulsive or something. I mean, there, I'm, go I'm gonna see if I can spend a lot of it, but I don't know. I might run into some trouble. Alright, so... Flask, potion of strength. I'm try and use a couple of those things. Can't get rid of the ship raising ritual. It's just stuck in our inventory. I mean, I guess I could drop it somewhere, but I don't know if that's advisable. And Jazara's got a lot of little items, and that's all of, about all I have time for in this video. All right. So next time, we're going to actually go to sleep in the game and that's going to change a lot of things and 
that'll be next time. See you then.